across. This over here, this tells us how strong is the wind up at altitude. You know how it tells us tells this? Because the balloon's moving. <laughs> because that balloon's up in the air in the wind, and it's going to go whatever speed the wind it is. So when you let it go, it doesn't go straight up to 100,000 feet. It goes up, and the wind takes it 50 miles per hour or 100 miles per hour or whatever. But uh, these actually, if you let one go in Topeka or let it go in Barrington, it wouldn't land in Barrington. This thing would land somewhere in Missouri. I mean, it's traveling. So, but uh, it measures uh, the temperature. It measures the pressure and how and how high you go to get to that pressure level. Uh, this is the wind over here, and there's some different things up here that are all just a uh, model projection based on what it's holding. Does that make sense? Okay. So it's measuring several different things. Many different things. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What pops did you get? Um, I actually popped one of these at the TV station. I blew it up with the hot with the uh, uh, hair dryer, and then started walking through the building with my balloon because it was funny. <laughs> and uh, I snagged it on a light. It was a you know just big enough. I snagged it on a light and just ripped. It doesn't really go pop like a like a you know a balloon you would you know snap at home or birthday balloon, it more just kind of rip. Yes? How many balloons do you need to do? Um, well, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it would be uh, 730 in Topeka, and 730 in Springfield, and 730 in Dodge City. So 730 times whatever number that is. A lot. Yes? No way. Huh. No, um, it doesn't go. They actually walk out holding it and then let it go. So. Yeah, this one won't. This one won't take off with you. It's not like us. Good movie, but this won't do it. Yes. The, uh, there was a tornado that hit in Oklahoma back in, I think, 98, and um, I was actually in central Missouri at the time. The next day, my car was covered in this dirt. Like, I, I thought, well, have I not washed my car in that long? And our professor actually said, everybody knows how red your cars were today? Dirty? Need to wash them? We're like, yeah, what's the deal? Says, That's from Oklahoma. That's from the tornado sucking up dirt and bringing it up here. That was our meteorology professor. So it was, it was Oklahoma dirt. It, it takes the dirt with it, it's like hundreds of miles. So, yes? Oh, yeah. Lifts? Yeah. People have lifts. I don't bet on it, but yeah, it, it can happen. I don't recommend trying it. 